Hi everyone. Today I am going to walk you through the Work Together 9.5 on how to post from the cash payments journal to the um, both the accounts payable ledger and the general ledger. So step number one says the October cash payments transaction for Golden Fabrics have been journalized. Determine the totals of the cash payments journal. So you're going to put the last day of the month, so it's October 31st, the word totals. Then you're going to add up everything in the general debit column. So $1,917.02, nothing in the credit column, so put a zero. Accounts payable debit, you're going to add everything up. It's going to be $2,066. Purchases discount, bring down the $3,280. And then add everything in the cash credit column. It gives you $3,950.22. Our next step is then going to be to post cash payment journal lines. And so what we are going to do is we have the um, we have our cash payments journal here and we are going to go through line by line and determine if we are going to journalize the transaction in the cash payments journal or sorry in the accounts payable ledger or the general ledger. Um, so I'm actually going to just show you this way. Um, so the first line, um, I'm going to first just do the accounts payable ledger. So I'm looking for anything in the accounts payable column. That's what I'm going to post to the um, accounts payable ledger. So I see gray manufacturing. So on the third, from cash payments journal page 10, so CP10, we are going to debit 1640 credit and a debit means we subtract so we put zero here so we basically just paid them what we owed them and then we put 220 back up at the top next we have in the accounts payable debit column westland westland supply so here we are westland supply the date is the 16th from Cash Payments Journal, page 10. And then it's um, a debit for $426. So it's not everything that we owe them. It's a partial payment here. So I'm just going to credit and a debit mean we subtract. So 992 minus 426 equals 566. And then we put 240 back up at the top. Okay, so now we journalized everything to um, the accounts payable ledger that needed to be journalized to the accounts payable ledger. Everything in the general debit column needs to be journalized in the general ledger. So on October 2nd, we have utilities expense and just to kind of save time here, I'm just gonna walk you through it because this is pretty repetitive. Um, but October 2nd, utilities expense. So we are going to find utilities expense in the general ledger. So here's the general ledger. So here's utilities expense. So on the second from cash payments journal page 10, we debit 124, debit and a debit mean we add, so we update it to 1072.56, and then we put 6170 back up at the top here. I'm gonna close these out really quick just to make it easier. Okay, next we have, uh, we already posted gray manufacturing to the accounts payable ledger, then we have purchases. So, as you can see here, Purchases on the 9th from Cash Payments Journal, page 10, $1,575 is debited. So again, that's coming from right here. Uh, debit and a debit we add. So the updated balance is $95,703.25. And then we put 5110 back up at the top here. 
Next, we have credit card fee expense, so on the 12th. From cash payments journal 10, we're debiting 64. Debit and a debit we add to equal $545.15. We put 6115 back up to the top. 6115. Uh, we already did Westland supply. So this is just the key. It's the same thing both times. Next we have supplies office. So supplies office. Uh, on the 31st from cash payments journal page 10, debit 4815, debit and a debit you add. So the updated balance is $3,232.32. Put one one four five back up at the top. We do the same thing for supply store on the 31st from cash payments journal page 510. We're debiting 5718. Debit and a debit mean we add. So the updated balance is $4,237.36. We put 1150 back up at the top. There we go. Miscellaneous expense. Just next on the 31st from cash payments journal page 10, 4764. Debit and a debit we add. So it's $2,537.61. We put 6135 back up at the top. And last, we have cash short and over on the 31st from cash payments journal page 10. It's $1.05 is debited, debit and a debit we add. The updated balance is $21. We put 6110 back up at the top in the post reference column. So now we've posted everything. Um, from, to the accounts payable ledger and the general ledger with the exception of our column totals. And that's going to be our next step. So I'm gonna close out each individual one of these again. So we have our general ledger left here and we have to purchase, or sorry, we have to post the column totals. So the general debit and credit columns, you don't have to do anything, just put a check there. Um, then we are going to, oh, and if you can't check, sometimes if you put a V in mind tap, um, that'll work. So accounts payable is debited 2066. 31st from cash payments journal page 10, we're debiting $2,066. Debit and a credit mean we subtract. So the updated balance is $8,717.53. And then we put 2110 back up at the top. Next, we have purchases discount. It's credited on the 31st from cash payments journal page 10, $32.80. The updated balance credit and a credit we add. So it's six. $654.28. We put 5120 back up at the top. Then last, cash is credited. So we take the total. We go to cash on the 31st from cash payments journal page 10, $3,950.22. Debit and a credit mean we add. So the updated balance is $12,504.97. We put 1110 back up at the top in parentheses. Very easy, just a little tedious. Also, just so you know, um, in accounting two, you will use software where you can click post and it will do it for you. But for now, we need to learn the ways. So that's why we're doing all this posting. Um, all right, so the last step is to do the schedule of accounts payable. Like I said in the lesson, it's like a table of contents for how much you um, is actually in the accounts payable account in the general ledger. So we're taking these amounts from the accounts payable ledger. Coastal Company, the balance, $2,230. Gray Manufacturing is zero, so you can leave that blank or put a zero. Um, Pacific Supply, you can see here, $4,177.96. Westland Supply, $566. Yeatman Designs is $1,743. And then you add everything up. The total of accounts payable is 